Hello, welcome back. Today I have got an exciting news for all of you guys who own the iPad Mini 2 and the iPhone 5S. Finally, you can downgrade back to 10.3.3. The reason that I want to downgrade here because the speed performance is very slow on my iPad Mini 2 and usually on the iPhone 5S too. So if you want to downgrade, you can follow this tutorial. Now you can see on my iPad Mini 2 here, it is currently running on 12.4.8. And in order to downgrade, you need a Mac. Now on your Mac, you can go to this website. So go to your browser and then you can go to lead down. Then you can download lead down 1.0.2 and you can click on this to download. And for me, I have already downloaded, so I need to cancel. So you can just open lead down on your PC and then you can just drag and drop lead down into your application folder. But for me, because I have already installed it before, it's going to ask me for replace. So I'm going to click on replace to replace it. And now it is completely done. Now, what you need to do in order to downgrade, you need to download the IPSW first. Go back to your browser. Then you can go to IPSW.me. And if you have the iPhone 5S, you can select on iPhone and then download 10.3.3. But on the other hand, for me, I have iPad, so I can select on iPad here and find iPad Mini 2, and I can select on it. Now you're gonna see this, scroll all the way down and find 10.3.3, and then you can just select on it to download, and select on the version here. Then finally click on download, but for me, I have already downloaded the IPSW, so I don't need to do it one more time. Now you can just launch lead down. And after that, you can connect your iPad into your uh, Mac. And after it is connected, you need to put your iPad or your iPhone 5 into DFU mode. And in order to put your device in DFU mode, you can hold on the power button and hold button at the same time. And after 10 seconds, you can release the power button, but keep holding the um, home button until you see the iTunes pop up. Now I'm going to do it on the screen here. Now release the power button, but keep holding the home button. After you see the iTunes pop up, you can release the home button. Now I'm gonna um, close the iTunes first. And then you can select 10.3.3 IPSW that, that you have downloaded at the moment. Now, now click on that. And you can select your IPSW here. And this is 10.3.3 for my iPad mini 2. Click on open and it is going to check for your device and while you are doing this make sure your uh, Mac is connected to the internet as well and you can see successfully copy the IPSW and you can just finally click on downgrade and then it's gonna show the warning it means that um, data on your device will be erased so I'm gonna click on continue then you, you got to exploit here so if you have the new Mac you can use this one but if you have 2010 or 2011 Mac, you can use this one. Now I'm going to click on this, the blue one. Now my iPad is being restored. And you can see the screen on my iPad here. It turned to red. And you don't need to worry about it. So all you have to do, you can wait for this process to finish. It may take a while, depend on your internet connection. And it is depend on your device. Usually with S1 devices, it does take about, I think about 10 minutes. Now it is restoring and you're gonna see the bar at the bottom of the Apple logo. So you can wait and I'm gonna speed this video. Now after your iPad has been restored, you're gonna see the complete and you can unplug your iPad from your Mac here. So I'm gonna unplug it. And then we can wait for the setup screen. Now we are on the setup screen here. So I can just click on home button and go to English and set up it. 
select the Wi-Fi and I'm gonna enter the password first now we are standing on 10.3.3 and you can notice by the wallpaper here now I'm gonna go back to settings and you can see we have different animation on 10.3.3 and if you check on my about here and my device is currently running on 10.3.3 one more thing for this downgrade it is untactor which means even though you turn off your iPad and turn it back on it is still on 10.3.3 so you don't need to worry about it and finally thanks for watching I hope this update helped you then I will see you guys in the next one